Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all having a really really awesome day. Today's video is a collaboration video, which I haven't done in a while since I've been so busy with school. And now that my schedule is finally opening up, I can start these collaborations again, and I'm collaborating with one of my favorite YouTube artists, and her channel is called Hunt Artist. And she's a lot like myself, where she does very stylized artworks that are fantasy based, and it's really interesting because even though we create artworks that are based around the same things and we both like drawing the same things, our pieces turn out very different because we both have such different styles, even though both of our artworks are very stylized. So I will definitely put all of her links down below, and you guys, she is amazing and I am obsessed with all of her artworks, and you should totally all go subscribe to her and watch all of her videos like five times and freaking follow her on Instagram and do everything. because. Again, she deserves all of it, and she's amazing. So go check out her artwork, and leave her lots of nice comments on her video, because I am sure it's going to be a completely gorgeous piece. So for this collab, we decided to do a holiday-themed collaboration, which was actually pretty easy to decide upon since it is the holidays, and we were both going to work in watercolors and colored pencils. And of course, since I'm not the best with watercolors or colored pencils, I also had to add a little bit of acrylic, and I also touched it up a little bit at the very end with my iPad. So it's pretty much a mixed-media piece, but we both decided to do traditional pieces for this collaboration. Now I was actually super nervous going into this collab since I usually hate, like completely hate doing holiday themed artworks. Like I, I've tried them in the past and they never worked out and I always thought they were boring, but you guys, I actually fell in love with this piece and now I'm completely obsessed with doing holiday art and I just want to keep drawing and drawing and drawing like angels and all these Christmas related things. So I'm actually really happy that the piece is that the piece turned out so well, because again, I've never liked doing holiday themed stuff in the past. Whether it was like Halloween drawings, or Christmas drawings, or Thanksgiving drawings, I just never was into it. But now I am, and I'm actually really happy. Now, I think one of the reasons why I didn't like doing holiday themed artworks in the past was mainly because I didn't like just drawing Christmas trees or ornaments or like a turkey for Thanksgiving, I don't know, I didn't like just drawing random objects. Like, I wanted to still tie the holidays into what I like to draw, which is like women, and I like drawing flowers and eyes and all that stuff. So I decided that for this piece I was going to create like an angel type character, and I surrounded her in those like poinsettia flowers you see all the time in like grocery stores around this time of year. And I thought that was a really pretty idea, because I came up with like five different concepts for this collab. I had like a candy cane type woman, I had like, I don't know, what else did I have? I don't know, I had a bunch of stuff. Now it doesn't seem like I had a lot, but I had a lot of ideas. And I finally decided on this piece since I thought it would be fun and I could really tie in some reds and greens, which I don't use reds at all in my art. Like red is one of my least favorite colors, but it's actually growing on me because I really like how the reds look in this piece. Thank you. 
So yeah, I took that holiday theme and I tied it into something that I knew I would be really inspired to create and something I'd really enjoy creating and something I'd be proud of showcasing to you guys and of course on Instagram and all the places that I share my art. It feels so nice recording a voiceover again, you guys. Like, I haven't recorded a voiceover in maybe a month and a half. And the last two videos I posted didn't have voiceovers because I was really crunched for time. But I want this video to be kind of like the start of me getting back into it. Especially with my schedule clearing up, I'll have a lot more time to create videos and to collaborate and to really work on some art. I apologize, I spent all day yesterday looking for holiday royalty free music, and I think I picked the least annoying song I could find, but there weren't that many songs online that were not like cringy or super repetitive, so hopefully this isn't too bad, and I don't know, it's like, I find all the Christmas royalty free music super annoying, and don't get me wrong, I love Christmas music, but when it's royalty free, it makes me want to kill myself, like it's so annoying. So hopefully this isn't too bad and hopefully I'll be able to fill the video with, with mostly a voiceover since the Christmas music I found was not the best. Now for the materials I used, um, let me see if I can see them from where I'm sitting. I mean, I'll just try to name them off the top of my head, and if I miss something, I will put them all in the description down below. I used my Winter Newton watercolor set, and I used various multi-liners and just random liners that I could find around the house, and I will leave those all in the description below. And I also used various like white paint pens to do the highlights and things, and I will also leave those down below. I'm not doing very well. And then I also used my iPad with the Procreate app to touch up the artwork at the very end and to make it good for like printmaking or to do like different color variations on it, which I will post at the very end of the video. And I used Strathmore watercolor paper. It's the one with like that pink fuzzy flower on the front of it, if you know what I'm talking about. I don't know, it's like in all the art stores. And then I also used Prismacolor pencils and I found this really pretty like calligraphy golden ink pen and I used that to do pretty gold highlights on like the flowers and the halo so that in like in real life the picture like shimmers with gold when it's in different lights so it's really really pretty and it I think took the piece to another level just because it's so interesting to look at all the different colors in the gold ink. And of course I would love if you guys could like the video and comment down below what you think of the piece and if you've done any holiday themed artworks on your own channel I would love to check them out. So yeah, I really hope you're all having an amazing holiday, and if you're in school, I really hope you enjoy your break. I know I am. I'm ready to not have to go work my butt off in high school. It's so annoying, and I cannot wait to have another couple weeks to just relax and to make art, and um, yeah. So yeah, please go check out Hunt Artist and watch her videos, and again, they are all super beautiful and amazing, and I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will totally see you guys next week. Thank you.